Yo, what is going on, everybody? Super Saiyan Paul here, back at it, giving some more Dragon Ball Super news, information, updates. Chapter 84 manga spoilers have been released. This came out yesterday, and today some new photos were leaked, so it's going to be really, really intense. we got some amazing things showing up here. So before we jump into this video, guys, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell icon, as I'm going to read this over, as well as we got some photos here of actually what's about to happen. As you guys can see, probably from the thumbnail, we're going to see Ultra Ego Vegeta and MUI Goku fight side by side. So things just ramped up like to the maximum against gas. So let's read this off. As we go along this, I'm going to pair it up with whatever pictures we see from the manga chapter that was leaked and we're going to connect the dots. And I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think is going to happen. What do you guys feel about certain moments and how hyped are you guys for certain parts? All right. So chapter 84 summary, pride of the warrior race. So we start out with oatmeal saying that the voice recording of the scouter that Bardock had left in on the planet that Goku just listened to um, is ended. And Goku says that he's very surprised with everything he heard about his father there so Monaito says that Bardock had left planet Cereal before he could move again and left that scouter behind we already know this and Goku manages to remember some of the things he's lived when he was in the liquid tank as a baby so if you guys saw my previous video on this chapter these sketches were already leaked showing Goku in the tank showing the moment where he remembered Bardock with his hand on the Saiyan pod that shipped him to earth so all of these things are flashing through Goku's head and Goku's remembering Saiyan pride so this may be the key for him with MUI being able to truly unlock everything that's in this form and as we go further into these spoilers, you're going to see some things that I, I want to bring up. So in those memories, we see how Bardock arrived wounded at his house from Planet Serio, and we see how he left Planet Vegeta for other missions. Goku also has his memory of his mother, Jine, in her everyday life. And also, Goku remembers the moment when his parents took him out of the tank and sent him out of Planet Vegeta in a ship. So, like I said, it's all been covered in the previous video. Um, those spoilers have already been released. Those are sketches. They're not really the cleanest manga panels, but later we're going to see them soon. Goku tells Vegeta that he finally understands Saiyan pride. But on the other hand, Goku remembers that his, fa that his father's face and how he remembered how he lacked faith in his own power. So Vegeta tells him that he too has lost sight of what's important and they need to preserve is not the Saiyan sin, it's the Saiyan's pride. So like the whole time we've seen throughout this arc is a lot of going back to the Saiyans and a lot of regret for what happened here and seeing that they used the great ape form to attack this place and all these things you gotta flip it on its head instead of looking at the bad you gotta look at the positive so less sins more pride it's i like that concept i really like that one so vegeta's angry because it was goku's father who had to remind him of that and goku laughs because the irony there is pretty Hilarious. Vegeta adds that he doesn't think it's fair how Goku and Raditz survived thanks to the Dragon Balls. Goku tells him that it's not his fault that Bardock made that wish. So if you guys didn't see the previous spoilers, Bardock wished both of his sons success and basically hoped that they had lived like a fruitful life and a safe life. So basically, the entirety of the original Dragon Ball, he was protected by plot armor because Bardock wished for it. Same thing with Raditz. And at the end of it all, in the very beginning of Z, they both died because the two of them clashed. So... It's, it's crazy how that kind of works. It takes away from Dragon Ball to some people and some people it adds to it. Let me know what you guys think about that. But really, ironically, he wished for them to both be protected. And these two forces, when they finally clashed, killed each other. In the very beginning of Dragon Ball Z. All thanks to Bardock. Um, it, it's wild. So, let's see. Goku. Vegeta tells Goku that thanks to the wish that he's been spoiled too much. Goku tells him that he also spoils his daughter. So, he, he shot right back. And Vegeta angrily says that's totally different. Monaito is happy to see that Bardock's will has been passed on to Goku and Vegeta. He says that the race's pride is not for revenge. It's to accept one's true self. So, we're getting super spiritual in the Dragon Ball Super manga. And I actually love this. So, and it's the same for all races. Wow, I like that. Monaito offers to heal them both before gas arrives, but before that, he changes their clothes for Saiyan armor like Bardock. So we saw that in the panel, and they look kind of goofy in it, but Goku and Vegeta are not comfortable with these armors, so they prefer their normal clothing. And like I said, I actually like the normal clothing too, because the Saiyan armor, it's good for like a split second. It'll probably be good for whatever video game sales, whatever they're going to try to pitch for that. But I liked Vegeta's clothing because it's like the Majin Vegeta outfit, you know what I mean? It matches that Ultra Ego form and that Majin Vegeta form, so I like that more. But you're going to see that in a second. However, Goku 
Kill Vegeta are not comfortable with the armor, so they prefer the normal clothes. Gas arrives to Planet Serial, lands directly in front of Manito's house, and he tells the Saiyans to get out. Oil was watching the house from the forest, and he sees Gas arrive, so he informs Alec and Maki about it. Alec says they'll get close with the ship, but not too close because it's going to get dangerous. So as we move on here, here's where the newer spoilers that I haven't covered yet cover up. So Oil approaches Gas and asks, how is he? And Gas tells him he's already wasted too much time. So there's a very, very interesting moment right here. We're going to see some revelations that I want you guys to let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Gas asks Oil to tell Elect that the battle will be over soon. Oil leaves telling Gas that he'll wait for him with the delicious rice that he's going to prepare. Goku and Vegeta leave the house fully recovered in the regular plain clothing. And Gas tells them that he thought that they had run away. Ga Goku had asked him, asked him to leave the planet, and Gas says he'll do it after he kills both of them. Vegeta says he wants to kill Gas at all costs, and asks Goku what he plans to do. Goku answers that he wants to defeat Gas. So Vegeta says that we have no choice but to fight together, and they're prepared to fight. So they're not fusing, but they're going to fight side by side. So it's a tag team battle against Gas, the strongest in the universe. And Goku says, I will be the one to defeat him first. And then Vegeta's like, no, I'll do it. So Goku activates perfect ultra instinct and vegeta activates ultra ego and so we see that right here so if you guys haven't seen the pictures look at this you're gonna see him power up it's looking like that maja vegeta outfit going into ultra ego the freaky face mode no eyebrows super saiyan three eyebrows and then goku powering up side by side so this like low key kind of broke the internet this morning look at that Look at that, side by side. This is as fresh as it gets, 2022 Dragon Ball. So from there, Alec, Oil, and Maki see everything from the ship, and Oil explains that the transformation to Maki, he explains about the transformation to Maki. Maki tells him that she doesn't care about the names. She just wants to know if they're strong. Oil tells her that Vegeta and Goku are extremely strong. So Gas tells Goku and Vegeta that they're stupid because they still don't understand that the level that he's at, they won't be able to reach. So Goku tells him that he is the one that doesn't understand anything and Vegeta tells Gas that that doesn't matter if they win or lose that the important thing is that they want to win so they just generally want to win and that they they're talking it into existence here if you guys ever like think about that from the spiritual side Goku literally says I will be the one to defeat him first or no I'll do it so they have that much confidence they're speaking it into existence and then Goku and Vegeta attack Gas Goku tries to punch Gas Vegeta tries to kick him Gas stops both attacks with his arms like that I'm guessing and Goku now tries to kick him Gas dodges the attack Vegeta tries to punch Gas dodges that as well goku continues attacking gas but he dodges every attack vegeta jumps tries to hit gas while goku's holding him back but gas is able to dodge both of them and remember they're both in powered up state so this is like going to be moving super super quick when this is animated goku and vegeta are constantly trying to attack him but gas is stopping every blow without problem and he's he does look a bit pressured so we're gonna probably see a vein in his head gas stops a punch from vegeta makes vegeta actually hit himself and then gas kicks, kicks goku so he's still in control even though both of them are fresh and healed and all of that so i think we see a moment of that like look at this they powered up like literally right here you see them power up right before they go and fight um gas they're gonna rush him as you guys can see so look here he is standing his ground. Both of them fly in like in a tag team fight. Looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait for this moment to happen. And like I said, look at that. He's blocking. He's blocking both of them from both sides. Punches with Goku here. Blocks it with his hand. Vegeta goes for the kick. Blocks it with its hand. Look at that. Interesting. And now as we go into the next one, check this out. So on the very final part of the spoilers, Goku and Vegeta get up quickly and attack Gas at the same time. Gas barely stops the attack. Gas uses a very large key blast. Goku and Vegeta dodge it and use a Kamehameha and a Gallic Gun against Gas. So this is going to be awesome. See, this is not a final flash. Gallic Gun and Kamehameha. Iconic to the Saiyan Pride in that first fight. I wonder if they're going to fuse later on because it, it looks like they're getting their asses. Like, it just, like, it doesn't look like anything's moving, but Gas teleports behind them and hits Vegeta with a mace that he creates with his powers. We saw this in the previous spoilers with Bardock versus Gas, and that mace is crazy strong. So he then tries to hit Goku with the mace, but Goku dodges it. Gas gets tired and drops the mace and kicks Goku in the stomach. Gas steps on Goku's chest while he's on the ground because he's sick of them. Vegeta creates a big key ball and tells Goku to leave the area where Gas is. That ball is a technique of the God of Destructions. If Goku touches the ball, he could disappear. So this part right here gave me some major SS3 Goku, no, Super Saiyan Goku with the spirit bomb uh, in the Kid Buu fight at the very end where he threw it down and Vegeta was about to get clapped and Hercule had to save him. It's kind of the same type of vibe I'm getting from that. My fault. It's not Super Saiyan Goku, it's based from Goku, but you know what I mean. And, um... It's the Hakai God of Destruction ball that we saw them use when they revived Frieza, I believe. Uh, and it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy how this happened. I believe they use this in the Terminator Power as well. 
Um, Goku sees that Gas is being distracted by Vegeta and teleports. Vegeta fires the key ball and tells Gas to stop it if he really is the most powerful warrior in the universe. So he challenges him to take this on. So Gas creates a shield which stops the key blast, the Hakai blast, and Goku appears next to Vegeta and helps him push the key ball. So it's like almost as if it's the spirit bomb. Remember that moment where he pushed it into Kid Buu at the very final second with the Super Saiyan ability? This is what I meant. Goku goes next to Vegeta and also helps push that into him and it still does not work. It still does not work so what happens is the gas shield disintegrates um and Alec is worried about seeing those new transformations so oil confirms to him that they've used those transformations against granola and alexis that everything's fine then because they used the wish after after the fight with granola after these guys had reached these peak level of powers and Alec also says gas's universe is different from granola's so very weird how that works so maki is confused to what he's talking about and like replies just watch so gas's universe is different from granola's let me know what you guys think about that because that's a very very ominous statement is he from a different universe and does it is it from a stronger universe that doesn't make sense um let me know because that means that that wish powered him up to a level of beyond anything over here and that's wild that's really wild to think so We'll see how that works. Gas starts to return the key blast, that Hakai ball to Goku and Vegeta, and he's pushing the ball without touching it. So his hand is probably just facing outwards. We already know how this goes from the Budokai game, the beam struggles. And just when the ball is about to reach them, Vegeta walks away, or I guess he just jumps out of the way and leaves Goku alone to try to stop the, the key blast. Goku, Vegeta um, goes straight for Gas, but Gas stops him and hits Vegeta several times in the stomach. And Gas wonders if they're crazy thinking that they can beat him, which I don't think is crazy because you should have that confidence. But then Gas prepares to finish off Vegeta. Goku manages to deflect the key ball towards the sky before it reaches the city. So that's what he stayed and tried to block because it just constantly kept coming at it. Um, and then he goes and helps Vegeta. Vegeta manages to punch Gas hard in the face. And Gas wonders what kind of technique is he using and how did he manage to move despite his injury. Vegeta says the damage you did to me is like my fuel. In other words, I'm getting stronger. So he's a walking Zenkai boost. Now remember, they kind of double backed on this when he was fighting Granola saying, Yes, this is fueling me. Then literally a couple panels later, they're like, Oh, I'm draining too much of my energy. I hope we don't see that again because that would really, really take away from a lot of what they're really building up. And then it's like they're taking away. They're building up and they're taking away. Can we just have it move up in a cycle of up? So if it doesn't take away from him and he just keeps gradually getting strong without saying any of that weak shit, I think we're in a good spot. But like showing the other slides. So look at this. This is the fight right here. I love this panel. Look at that. Look at the fierceness. Goku looks more calm, but like still angry. And then look at Vegeta. It looks like a menace. And then over here, here's Goku blocking the blast from heading towards the city. And you can see the desperation, the veins and stuff popping out of his head. And over here, he just flings it right up, right up into the sky. Now over here, right as soon as that's finished, you can see like the hole in the ground. He instant transmits right over to Vegeta. You see Vegeta battle damage, a little bit of bruises, a little bit of blood, the veins popping out of his body, like literally pushing it to his limits. So a couple panels later, I mean earlier he was fresh and he's already battle damaged with how fast this fight's going to move. So imagine the pacing of this when it's animated. I can't wait. I hope they throw some serious budget into this. And then over here, he gets a hit off on gas. Look at that. So he actually hits him after taking some battle damage. He's getting stronger and stronger as the fight goes on. Fighting with Saiyan Pride. And yeah, even though at the very beginning it looks like they're on the, the defense here because this guy is that strong and apparently he's not from this universe. And th they're really just not at that level yet because he's still saying that. Um, he's looking frustrated. He hasn't unleashed his full power yet. And I just want to know what you guys think from here. Because look at that. Vegeta's like, yes, I'm getting stronger. But is this as genuine as we make it out to be? Because like we said before, previous chapter, he was doing this against Granola. Then they doubled back on that. So can we take this as seriously? Do they keep messing with my boy Vegeta? I hope not this time. I really hope not. But as it looks likely... Look at this. Vegeta's the one that's really on the offense here. Goku's still sidelined to an extent. So we're going to see Goku probably pop off in a bit. Because remember, the whole story with Bardock was around him. So let's see how that goes. But remember, they're fighting side by side. So do you guys see them using Ultra Ego, MUI to another level to the where it's perfected and beating him? Do you guys see them fusing together and having to go into Gogeta's form? Because like, like, like you guys see right here, Gas isn't at his 100% yet. So is that what they're going to have to do to eventually take him out? Slim, it's like the Broly movie. Because 
because it's going to be wild. It's going to be absolutely wild if you see that show up. I mean, I'm happy that they're fighting in a tag team fight. I really wanted to see this. And for once, they're putting their pride aside. Or, or not really their pride aside, their own individual senses aside. And they're actually going all out to defeat this enemy. But them fusing together would be pretty badass. And we're going to see some Broly movie vibes. But I wouldn't want to see Gogeta just completely wipe the floor with him. Because I'd rather see Gogeta actually take some battle damage. This way, it really kind of situates where his power level's at with how tanky he is remember bardock beat him and now these guys are in the tier of gods and beyond and now he's up there too so the power scaling is absolutely wild right now it's actually wild and all over the place mui goku still has to show off his abilities right now with her perfect ultra instinct since they wrecked they nerfed it because they had to and then they had to bring it back so we'll see how that works and ultra ego is now starting to show some fruition however it's not quite there yet so i want to see more from him take some more damage and hang in there without saying any more of that weak shit that we heard earlier but like I said, guys, this is the entire manga chapter, and apparently, like, for its entirety. So, 84, this is the vibe. So far, it's still somewhat um, a stalemate. and He's not even technically phased completely yet. He's just frustrated. So, we're going to have to see. They're going to have to get another level of power. Maybe Granola might have to step into the fight. We don't know yet. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, especially that part about where Elect mentions that gas is not of this universe. What is his true intentions, and what the hell does that mean? Anyway, guys, I love y'all. Make sure y'all smash that like button for me. Subscribe. Hit that bell icon. This has been an amazing chapter. I like it. I like the way that they're writing some of this. And um, the Saiyan Pride, focusing less on the sins and the future of the Pride. Bardock coming in from the Dragon Ball Minus chapters in the Broly movie. Technically, full circle with this. And Goku and Vegeta having these kind of spiritual awakenings. Talking things into existence. Saying that they have the confidence to beat him. I love that. Um, and, and just like... All, everything it represents right here, I, I really do like some of these things. Now, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but I'm not going to hate on it. I, I, I really want to see what they do with this. Um, and even the part with them giving plot armor to Goku throughout all of Dragon Ball up to where he met Raditz. I, I don't mind it too much because I enjoyed the shows for what it is. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Just nothing but positivity for this one. Um, I'm just hoping that it, it just doesn't, they don't retract any of the gr the greatness they built with this specific chapter. I think this was a great chapter. If anything, I think um, without having seen the full thing yet, based off of the summary, I'd give this a 9 so far for me personally. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be catching you guys next time, alright? Young Muddy Baby.